So what is Gab and why is the Fediverse freaking out about it? Let's talk about that. So you might have seen this hashtag Gab trending on the Fediverse. I'm going to break down what it is. Now, for those who do not know, Gab is a social network that champions free speech, which of course is culture speak for we're okay with white supremacists and Nazis. We don't have enough of those running around. These guys apparently spent like $5 million crowdfunding to get this social network for the free speech champions as they like to spout off and uh, it's failure. They have paid tiers, free tiers. So what do they do? They're gonna use a code based on Mastodon. Of course they are. See their application was actually banned from Google Play and the Apple Play Store. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna grab source code from for Mastodon, which not cost $5 billion in uh, crowdfunding, and they're gonna just slap their logo on it and charge for access. Of course, this is making a lot of people really pissed off, and a lot of people are slowly implementing block lists. So one of the most popular Android uh, Mastodon application is called Tusky and they've added this feature where if you try to sign up with a gab.ai or gab.com account it loads up a YouTube video of Rick Roll. This is funny don't get me wrong I appreciate the humor. You can't just block two domains. This is a technological problem eventually you're gonna have a big block list because domains are really cheap like they're like 10 bucks a pop. And if you buy them in bulk, sometimes you can give them even cheaper. This is going to become a cat and mouse that might get out of hand where every time there's a new Tusky release, Gab gets a new domain. And that's not really sustainable. And then you end up in a situation where the install of Tusky is so big, it's got to maintain this gi giant gargantuan p potential Gab related URLs. Really, I don't. I don't know the solution for this. Long run, it does not seem like a winning battle. So I think few people are gonna be angry like, oh, what about free speech? You have our first amendment rights. Well, at the, at the end of the day, your first amendment rights are, well, if, if you're an American, that is, your first amendment rights are simply that the government can't control your language. And I, have it on good authority that the developers of Tusky and the developers of Macedon do not work for the US government. However, there's nothing stopping these alt-right dudes from installing Macedon. It's part of the license, it's part of the GPL. They can install their own applications, but we're not required to make it easy for them either. I'm really worried about where the future goes with this, it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how this plays out in the long run because the Fediverse is quite young and uh, it'd be nice to have a mostly Nazi free situation. Anyways, that's enough Fediverse ranting for now. Peace. <laughs>